Hey everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to the channel and another edition of Farm Truck Friday. I just looked and it has been two months since I've done one of these videos. So shame on me for letting Satan win that battle and keep me away from praying for you or anybody that you wish for me to pray for. So obviously in two months, I haven't kept up with the list. I, I know there's many of you that have lost family members. Some of you have had surgery. Uh, some of you have been sick. Uh, some of you are still sick <clears throat> in, in recovering from your illnesses and, and physical injuries. So uh, again, shame on me for not making the time to spend with you in prayer because that's what God wants for all of us. He wants all of us to be together, to help each other, to do things for each other. And obviously, obviously since we're detached and on YouTube, uh, I physically can't help you or do anything. But the one thing I can do is pray. So again, shame on me. So hopefully, you know, it won't be another two months before I do another one of these videos. <clears throat> so with that being said, Today's video is going to be short because I don't have a list of people to go through. So, but I just do want to take the opportunity to pray uh, with you and for you. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, again, Lord, just uh, thank you for being that loving Father you are, Lord. We just thank you for the Independence Day holiday we've just celebrated earlier this week. And Lord, why that's the independence for our nation. Lord, we're so thankful for your son, Jesus, who came and died on the cross at Calvary for us to give us true independence. Um, give us a freedom, uh, the freedom to choose. And Lord, I'm thankful that I have chosen. And Lord, I pray that everybody out there in YouTube land has accepted Jesus Christ as their savior. And that when we sign our declaration of, of independence, for our Christianity is not admitting that we're free. It's admitting that we're relying on you. That we become one with you and you one with us. Lord, as I mentioned when I opened up, Lord, we know, we know that there are plenty. Of course, obviously, you know all. But we know there are plenty out there of our friends and families and subscribers and viewers that are sick, that are hurting from physical ailments and from internal ailments. There are those that have lost loved ones. There are those that are struggling financially. Those that are struggling emotionally. But Lord, we know you are the great healer, the great physician, the great comforter, Lord. So we just ask for your blessings on those that need to be blessed, your comfort on those that need to be comforted. And if it be your will to heal those that need healing. So Lord, as we go about our daily lives, Lord, the devil and his minions are working hard against us working hard against us as individuals, as family units, a country, and even the world. But Lord, we need to get to living in the word because it's your word <coughs> that promises us an eternal hope. Because of that love, that grace, and that mercy that you have given us. We have that hope of an eternal home in the kingdom of heaven with you. So, Lord, as I end this prayer, Lord, I just pray that those that hear will look to you as they go about their daily lives. And when the devil gets in our ear, that we thump him and only listen to you, the one true light, the one true path. So again, Lord, just be with us, guide us, and protect us. 
And we pray all this in the holy and precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So as I said, short video. I hope y'all have a great day today. A blessed weekend coming up and an even better week next week. And don't forget when the struggles happen, because the struggles are real in this world today. When the struggles happen, look to Jesus Christ to guide you through whatever turmoil the devil is laying on you. Until the next time we're together, y'all take care and God bless.